got uh, an interesting request through YouTube. Uh, this request is from Justin83, who's asked me to play Mars Base Infinity. And uh, the description just says, Doom Base Mars, no custom tags. That map ID is M5N3J6MZ, currently sitting with uh, one play. And I believe it, if it's not already in the review queue, probably should be. Um, so let's take a look at that author profile. And Justin83 has played one day and 12 hours of SnapMap content and accumulated over 45,000 SnapMap points, currently listed as the author of 30 total maps. Um, if I recall correctly, that is a woefully low number. The, clo the, no the last the last count, um, the, the Justin83's number of boards was something to the tune of like 260, like a very prolific author. Uh, currently rocking a 92% upvote rating off of 74 votes and I'm just going to confirm something here because um, right, do, do, do. yeah still well over uh, 30 maps and like I said if we if we continue to scroll I did the math one night and the, the number was higher than 260 um, it's a it, there are a lot of maps on Justin 83's uh, thing so uh, and of course you know uh, regular viewers will know um, that I did sort of a um, you know a review uh, sort of a very frank honest review uh, what I will front load us on on this is say that um, there was some indication in the request that Justin 83 has been uh, you know listening to some or taking some of my feedback and using it so uh, I've been assured uh, that this has been a fully tested experience. Um, oh, by the way, this uh, is also set up for multiplayer, which is interesting. It looks like it's actually set up for two different teams. Um, so uh, it would, if I'm reading the iconography of what's going on there correctly. So um, in any case, I will be playing this solo, and uh, let's go ahead and just check out Mars Base Infinity. So, Mars Base to Infinity and Beyond. Obvious joke is obvious. Let's... Uh, Let's take a look at uh, how much of my feedback has been uh, used. Okay, so first of all, okay, double jump at the start. That's good. Okay. Weapon wheel. We have one, but I'm wearing the Praetor suit again. So um, let's go over it again. And, of course, one of the first weapons is the chainsaw. Okay, so I will repeat this again. This is feedback I've already given Justin. Um, the use of the Praetor suit leaves the pl not only are you taking away the player's choice of custom armor but you are leaving the player vulnerable to a bug that crashes doom completely so if i take that chainsaw and i die while holding that chainsaw there is a 25 percent chance it will crash my game so i'm not really inclined to take the chainsaw and i'm also not crazy about the fact that this motion is not happening with my cool custom armor so you know now if it turns out there are story elements that explain why I'm wearing the Praetor suit, then all is forgiven, but I, those story elements need to be there. Okay. Okay, so uh, the, cha the chain gun, another weapon that sets off the Praetor bug. Okay, we're using an automated wave event that starts us with lost souls. That's fine. Okay. Oop. Okay. Ouchies. There's a Keiko behind me. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well, I do like that the, the death reset um, number has been set low. That's pretty cool. So it, it kind of just keeps the action going. That's awesome. Good with that. All right, what's behind me? Oh, Spectre. Oh, Spectre. Okay. So, yeah, where are we? I'm on my lockdown. I can't get out anyway. I'm just trying to get some high ground here. And um, I got just the shotgun. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? So this, um... I mean, this is a, a three-wave uh, automated event. And it's starting me with Keiko's and Lost Souls. Lost Souls usually start at one of the mid-range... Uh, you start seeing Lost Souls, I want to say it's at, like, Tier 3 or Tier 4. Uh, is of the of, of the automated wave event is when you start seeing them. Um, so, like, we're starting things at a pretty high level of difficulty uh, with uh, with the automated stuff. Um, so, it would not surprise me if Wave 3 includes some really, really big bads. And yeah, what? How often do you see Hell Knights in an automated... Oh, hey, well, that helps. Okay, that's good. Although, again, knowing what I have to face in the third wave, 
it was probably not wise of me to take this right now. But that's on me, you know? Like, the, I, I like that it was provided, at least. That's good. Um, yeah, it's on me if I... if I wasted it, so... But yeah, again, not taking that chain gun. Like, I, if I die holding it, my stream ends. You know? <laughs> like, that... Oh my goodness. Complete, like, I, I, I don't, I don't feel, I, I don't want to belabor this, but one of the things is, like, you know, like I said, Justin83 has been pushing for a very long time for me to review his boards again after I explicitly said I would not. You know, I, I made it very clear that unless he was going to start taking my feedback, I wasn't going to do his, uh, his boards anymore. Because, you know, like I said, he, he, he has something to the tune of over 260 boards that he's made, and he's got tutorials about how he can make these boards in like 10 minutes. And I, you know, my, I, my feedback was very clearly, it shows, you know? Like, so, I mean, this is, like, I'm, I'm not really sure what player experience we're going for here. There's no story elements, but all this risk I'm expected to take on to, to play the board as designed, which, you know, I'm just, I'm not sure why the Praetor suit has to be on right now. I would really like to be able to pick up that chain gun. That, that chainsaw would have been super useful, although I'm not seeing ammo pickups for the chainsaw, so, you know, it is what it is, but still. Now I gotta go take on a couple of Cybermanks with nothing but a shotgun. Uh, theoretically, where'd they go? Okay, there we are. Oh, they're... This is, yeah, end of wave three. So, yeah, I really should have. Yeah, I mean, I have, I, I can't remember ever playing a map where the automated, <coughs> the automated wave events brought out Cybermanks. Like, much less two of them. Like, yeah, the, the I, like, your first event is set to such a ridiculously high difficulty. Like, <laughs> Okay, I won't say ridiculous, but still. I mean, first gambit of the game, and, <laughs> you know, here we are. So. But yeah, again, I, I'm hoping that, you know, this feedback is taken in the spirit that I'm trying to give it, which is to be helpful, you know, to kind of explain why I'm not picking up the super awesome weapons you provided. I, um, I just, you know... There you have it. So, okay. So, that is the wave event done. Okay. And again, uh, another thing I'm going to go ahead and, and mention is I am now sort of observing that all these modules are completely undressed, you know. Uh, again, per use. So, um, yep, this was our starting area. Anything over here? No. Just, there's really nothing going... I mean... I really do feel like this is another one of those those boards that was put together in a day or less. And Alright. Well, right. well. And kaboom. There we go. Okay. Alright. Over here, nothing, not really. Okay, I mean, okay, we got a little bit of decal work here. That's good. Okay, that's some. Um, although, I, I could just as easily be the... I, I can't even tell. So, uh, um, alright. Alright, let me see here. Alright, and... Yeah, alright, we got more baddies coming up. Alright, a couple of these. done. Next. More hallway. Another undress module. We got anything popping up here? Nope, just another door. So, you know, all in mismatched rooms. Okay. Well, that's it. So, okay. Another thing I've brought up. Okay, so let's see. Where's the module where we got attacked? It was in here, right? Okay. So, one module. Two modules. Three modules. Four modules. A 
three of those modules are transitionals. So, but th there's really no excuse for nothing to have happened in that room. All right, another wave event. Where's this one starting us off with? It is starting us with. Oh my god! So, oh my, oh my god! I have any other weapons in here? Like, that's. Oh my goodness. Like I said, we're starting with what was Tier 2 on the last wave event, so we can expect to see a couple of uh, Cybermanks again. Ooh, Demon Control Grenade. It's something. Alright, so... Alright, I don't use this very often, but any port in a storm. Let's see if there's anything over here. Uh, rocket Launcher! Oh, finally! An upper tier weapon I can freaking use without worrying about the stupid glitch. Alright. Alright, there we go. Alright, now... I wonder where the armor is for this? Or, I mean, the uh, ammo? Let's find out. Alright, unless I'm... Am I, getting am, am I getting ammo from these guys? I didn't check. I don't think I am. I mean, I'm seeing tons of shotgun ammo all over the place, but... Let's see here. Um, alright, yeah, I'll we'll take a health bit, why not? Okay. Alright, um... Yeah, not seeing any rocket launcher ammo anywhere, or, you know... Uh, anything else down here? Not really. No! Alright, just... I don't... Uh, see, if I kill him, it starts the next... Uh, it, it's very likely to start the next wave, which I'm not ready to do yet, because I want to kind of fully explore this area. And yet, nothing up here either, so... Alright. Let's, let's do it. Okay, now I recognize how wave events work in this room. Everybody's going to try to group up down here. Uh, so I'll get all the little guys down here, and, um, like, uh, then I can worry about the bigger guys later without having a bunch of ips up my ass, so. Alright. Alright, so. That's the big bad over there. One of them, anyway. Yeah, and of course. I am saving that berserk for wave three this time. Less. Let me check something here. Uh, that didn't work. That, uh, that did not make him my buddy. Or, yeah, it did. Excuse me. Alright, the old TV Christmas. Yo. Oh. Oh, what the? Ah, Jiminy Christmas. Alright, and, oh, I still have the rocket launcher at least. That's good. You kill stealing son of a. There, there you go. All right, pally pal. There we go. Got myself a little blob stomper on my side, I guess. All right. Get by with a little help from my friends, I suppose. All right. So now we're in here. Well, hey, look, window dressing or uh, set dressing. Awesome. Kind of, sort of, devoid of context, but okay, it's there. And this is definitely a less difficult wave event <laughs> than... Uh, this is definitely set lower. Much lower than the other two. So yeah, this is about a tier two, yep, I recognize. Alright. Wave 3, and this is about the time... Is it this one or next one we start seeing uh, Lost Souls? Oh, okay. Alright, good. Oh, no, we're not going to see Lost Souls because of the security guys. So, that's one of the things about the... the it's the Tier 3. It, it, it'll, do lo it'll do Lost Souls, it'll do security guys, but it'll never do both. So... Actually, the security. If I see the security guys, I got to start remembering. Hey, at least it's not lost souls. All right, there's another berserk in here, and this is another wave event. Where are we starting on this one? Level three. Okay. Oh, jeez. No, that is definitely not level three. That is much higher. Oh my god. That is a 
Sweet home, I... I really wish I didn't... Grab that. Stupid dessert. I just did it twice. And, oh my god, this filter. Why? 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 Am I starting in the rafters? Freaking why? Okay, well, I mean, this is an automated uh, wave event, so there's like a 50-50 chance the automation is doing that, but freaking why am I starting in the rafters? Or whose fault it is. Holy cow, that's a stupid place to start. Alright, wave three. Which. Uh huh. I that other shoe was gonna drop any second. And you'll notice, uh, again, this, this filter, which is on in this room for, again, reasons I'm not equipped to explain. Um, but it also causes the, uh, the glory kill effect to go away. So basically, instead of, like, your opponents when they're in glory kill mode, when this filter is on, instead of them blinking, what it does is it, like, just turns them all black. Like, like they have just zero light on them whatsoever. Oh, a plasma rifle. That'll... that's helpful. Okay. Alright, so... Boop. Alright. That still hasn't ended the wave event. What else is creeping around in here? Where are you creeping like a creeper, creep? Where are you creeping like a creeper? Another reason I hate automated wave events. Oh, oh, no. Good. Okay. Uh huh. Up here in the doggone rafters. Again, Lord knows why. The room is cleared. Huzzah. And now we move on to another... Okay. Oh, never mind. It's just shutting the filter off. Well, a berserk in every room. That's... That's handy. Okay. And this is where if I had a chainsaw, I would probably be finally getting fuel for it. Um, let's see. No secret door. Let's... Okay. All right. At some point, I'm going to need a red key. Alright, fair enough. Alright, we're going to comb every inch of this room for anything that could be inactivatable. Okay, so Goss Cannon, which is another weapon that sets off the Praetor Suit bug. So we're up to three. Oh, here it is. Big ass room. We're supposed to be looking for this little ass key. With no POIs, which is so separate. I mean, like before. But, oh my god, seriously, we're starting. Automated wave event. Barons of Hell. Well, at least we got room to move this time. And, you know, just do it. Get up and do it. Everybody knows you hate the automated wave events. And so far, this board has been nothing but automated wave events. Oh, no, no. There were a couple of hallway encounters. Those were big little moments of respite there. Okay. Alright. So yeah, so basically, it's it's not even, like, you know, I have complained before about Big Bad Spam, but I have found what, one thing that is worse than Big Bad Spam. Automated Big Bad Spam. <laughs> like, to know that this wasn't even a deliberate des decision by, you know, the map designer. To, to know that, you know, this is, like... <sighs> No, 
This is, I'm in a room just shooting things. There's no. So what? You know? So you know how, like, they have those, like, little frozen. Uh, those little frozen white castle movies that you can, like, just get out of the microwave and, like, warm it up and, you know, you can have your white castle burgers. Uh, you know, allegedly. They, 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 they taste kind of like suck. You know, they, 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 are the, they are the flavor of sadness. They really are. But, like, that, you know, the thing is that, like, fresh White Castle isn't that much better, but it's still better than the, the sort of, like, throw it in your microwave and, and fire away kind of thing. And in both of those cases, you know, you go to, like, a Fuddruckers and eat their hamburgers, and they're frickin' delicious, you know? Like, generally, they're, I mean, they're using the same recipe, or I won't say the same recipes, they're using the same ingredients, you know, but doing the rest, it's three completely separate ways of doing recipes. You got the White Castle frozen hamburgers that you microwave, you got the White Castle burgers that you get at White Castle, and you get, like, the burgers that you get at Fuddruckers, you know, and everything in between, obviously, but we're trying to keep this simple here, because, like, as I've said in the past, I've, I'm you know, I feel as though my feedback is not getting listened to, and I'm trying my very best to explain what it is that really just gets me annoyed when I'm this deep into a Justin 83 board, you know? And that thing is the difference between Microwave White Castle, Fresh White Castle, and Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers is going to be your folks that, you know, they, they have the same ingredients to work with that every other Snap Mapper has. They have, you know... Demon spawners and teleporters and logics and everything else. Everybody's got the same toolkit to work with, you know. And then you got folks that will deliver you the Fuddruckers experience, your your Eye of Horus and your, you know, Outcast series and you know, friggin' everything Dario Vitelli does. And you know, just these, you know, just these fantastic, memorable board experiences. You know, there's your Fuddruckers. Then you got your White Castles, which is, you know, uh, anybody that's just putting together modules and doing it well, you know, like they're, you know, they're, 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 they're cooking the ingredients fresh, man. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're hand assembling that burger for you, you know, and it, again, it's not freaking gourmet, but nobody's expecting gourmet, you know, and then you've got the White Castle burgers that you take out of the freezer and throw in your market. And that's what this is. This is not even like, like just not even, you know, just not. It, I I don't feel like anything has actually been done by the artist apart from assemble stuff. You know, like it's all just sort of thrown. It, it, it like the the components of a snap map were thrown into a microwave, and you know reheated, and 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 are being just served up and. You know, there's. I feel like you know, there's. There's never any window dressing in these boards. There's never any sort of expression going. on. It's just putting stuff together and throwing it out there, and and, and I don't. I don't get it. You know, I just. I, and of course, you know, poetically, it ends with me hitting a mix-on switch in the elevator uh, module, which regular viewers, I'm sure, will understand the significance. And um, the map is not broken. You know, I mean, I didn't have fun with it, but the map is not—it's not broken. You know, it—it it, was—it—it—it it, it works. It is an end, a well-engineered map, and I'm not going to vote it down. Um, I'm not—I'm certainly not going to vote it up either. Um, you know, but uh, there I am completing it, and you know, somebody else played it and downvoted it before I got here. So, you know, what are we going to do? But anyway, you know, so yeah. Um, so the comment again, I'm going to uh, reiterate uh, the comment that I received from Justin83 asking me to um, to review this map was very insistent that the map was tested and that it, you know, it, it you know, it, it, there was an indication, there was sort of a, 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 a it was implied, not outright said, but implied that Justin83 understood that if I do a review of a Justin 83 board, it will be because I am giving feedback. Because, and, and that implies that you've been listening to the feedback I give both yourself and others and, you know, are taking that to heart. I am definitely not seeing that. Now, the, the, the last map I played, this is, this is, I mean, I'm just going to use the word slap map. This is another slap map. This has been slapped together. You know, let's not cut brass tacks because I was much meaner in my last one than I even plan on being right now and I, I'm going to let you know right now I am agitated you know but you know 
so what's going on here? Okay, is is you know again you, you you've put a bunch of modules together, you've thrown a bunch of prefab encounters in there, adjusted some numbers, and in some cases, so like it, it's very arbitrary. Like I I can see from the way that the the automation is which waves it's pulling. You know, I used automated waves for pain train, and I had to watch their performance very closely because I tested that map like a hundred times. So I know the performance of the first few tiers of the automated wave event system and i could recognize those those automated waves and how far ahead of those your encounters were and more importantly as we move deeper into the map how some of them came back in and regressed a little bit and then got ridiculously hard at the end you know and i'm just sitting there i'm going you know like the the, the reason i will not use an automated event for big bads that or anything that goes that high is because big bad spam is not fun or engaging or intriguing in any way it's just throwing a bunch of stuff out there and seeing what sticks it's not fun combat it's it's a slog you know you're you know and the thing is you can make that fun that you can make that fun but that that's the part that takes time you need to get in there and add some story elements add some context to what is going on in your board you know, you, you know, tell a story, any kind of a story. Tell me why, for example, when I go in one room, suddenly everything is red. You know, like, without, why am I wearing the Doom Guy suit? I mean, give me reasons for these things. And, you know, all of the complaining goes away. Because at this point, though, you're just arbitrarily throwing switches. You're, you're turning on the campaign models. Why? Who knows? You know, you're setting the, the encounters, you know, high, then low, then high again. Why? Who knows? You know, and, you know, there's berserks in every room. Why? Who knows? You know, it, it, there are, you go through entire rooms that are just empty and nothing ever happens in them. Why do we even have to walk through them in the first place? Who knows? Like, n- you know, it, it, nothing makes sense in this. It's just a sort of a, a start to finish thing. And it, it, like, it really does feel like you just took all the components of Snap Map, just sort of shuffled them about until a working map occurred and called it a day. You know, and I know for a fact that's what you're doing because you made a tutorial video of you doing just that. And I don't like playing these kinds of maps. I don't enjoy them. And you continue to ask me for these reviews. You know, and I, I don't understand why. And the, the, I'm putting this, I'm, I'm doing this review solely to kind of make my point that, you know, I, I, I'm willing to give people second chances and third chances and all that other stuff. It's not even about chances. If you can just conduct yourself, you know, a little, you know, a little, like there are people that, you know, I, I review all the time. I like Watts the man. He's one of my favorite map makers. How many Watts the boards do I actually have videos of though? Because half of them, I have to like stop in the middle for, for reasons that pertain to my personal tastes. And Watts the, he takes all of that feedback on the chin and he, he just says, all right, well, I'm going to use this to improve my maps and, and do this, that, and the other, you know, and the maps improve and, and, you know, and, and things get fixed, and it's awesome. That's why we all give each other this feedback in the Snap Map community. You know, this is why we talk to one another. This is why when I ask somebody, you know, when somebody says something in one of my YouTube comments, they ask me a question, and I answer it, you know, and then they answer the answer, and we have a discussion. That never seems to happen with you, Justin83. You know, you leave a message asking me to play one of your maps. I play your map. You don't comment on that. I ask you questions in the comments. You don't respond to those. You don't seem to talk to anybody in the Snap Map community. You don't seem to play people's maps because, again, you have like a day of playtime, but you have over 260 maps. You know, and going by my division rule, you're nowhere close to the amount of playtime to justify having 260 maps in your library, you know, <laughs> of published maps. <clears throat> you know, I mean, there's no other way I can explain this, you know, and if you're just not going to watch this video, then you're not going to get it either. And I, I, I feel like my point is now made. I'm just not going to waste my time anymore, you know, um, you know, and again, I, if I do see a faint glimmer of hope that yes, I have a specifically addressed these problems in my maps, I have actually spent more than a day doing a map you know i've gone through and i've I've added set dressing and story elements and all this other stuff you know it's got coming at me and saying well i'm not an expert in custom geo you don't have to be you know you can use the standard modules and still tell a fun story or demonstrate something other than just throwing a bunch of random stuff together and hoping it sticks you know it, it you just gotta you know, again play more snap maps see what people are doing in their snap maps the highly voted highly rated that you know play stuff in the community spotlight that's at the or stuff that's at the top of the areas you do want to get good at you want to make you know boards with good boss battles in them play a few hours of boss battle 
boards. There's a whole section of just boss battle boards. You know, there's a whole section of escape boards and, you know, hard boards to see what hard really feels like. It's not, and hint, it's not just setting the numbers ridiculously high on an automated wave event. You know, there's more involved in that, you know. And again, I cannot stress this enough. You know, I have, I don't understand why people feel the need to turn on the campaign models, you know, and, but I mean, it, it, with other people, it's like, okay, maybe they, they like to do this, they like to do that. But I mean, in the case of watching the way you design boards, Justin 83, I can't help but think you're just flipping that switch arbitrarily because it's how everything else seems to happen in your map designs. It's like you don't, I feel like you don't even have a reason for the things you do. And that's why I'm going to ask you again, if you do want me to review your snap maps, at the very least, meet me halfway and stop turning on the campaign models. You know, especially if you're going to throw in all these gigantic weapons that, that crash doom when you're wearing the Praetor suit and snap map, you know. Just please, just that one thing and my my mood will lighten up. I promise you, you know, but... You know, th- that if you can do just that one thing, I will know you're listening. You know, just that one simple thing. And that one simple thing is do not check the box that says use campaign models. You know, don't, just don't check it. It's, it, it's easy. This is the easiest thing you could possibly do because it's not doing a thing. You know, you actually have to do less work for, for this to happen. Just, that's all I'm asking. Thanks. And in the meantime, yeah, I mean, it, it, just work on your maps for longer than a day. You know, decorate them, tell stories in them, make the combat compelling. Just do something other than just throwing stuff together, please. All right, so Mars Base Infinity, Justin 83, map ID is right there. You can play it if you want.